Uh, statistics and reimbursement. Are there coding jobs that deal with statistics rather than insurance reimbursement? Yeah, you could work for WHO, yes. <laughs> the World Health Organization. Um, uh, risk adjustment is very mm -hmm. much into statistics. However, it, you know, so if that's something that interests you, you might want to get into the statistical aspects of it. But um, for the most part, mainstream coders you're not dealing with statistics unless you work for a large practice group and if you were in a compliance officer you are in charge of keeping all the statistics and reporting those and helping you know uh, so I would say that would be an avenue to go um, also uh, working for the government working for CMS man if you want statistics <laughs> you know that would be a great job um, I think I think no, no, it was in PACOM, the PACOM conference. I started to say it was the conference that I went to that Jennifer and I met at, but it wasn't that one. It was PACOM. And there was a couple people, um, a couple ladies that were feds that came and did a lecture about the new um, uh, card, the new Medicare card. Mm -hmm. And they gave us lots of statistical information on just that, but that's what they deal with. So absolutely. If you do not have a criminal criminal background of any, which you're not going to get a job in the medical field if you do, but um, you know, that would, if that's something that interests you, I'd, I'd look at the government. And a lot um, of things that, Oh, go ahead, Jennifer. No, no, no. I was just, the vice president of our chapter works for uh, military bases, and then she travels all over collecting all that statistical at data from mm -hmm. the military providers and puts it all with NIH. And uh, yeah, she she's yeah. quite busy. So, but she yeah. she gave a wonderful topic about it as well. It's very interesting. So, very good. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I was saying a lot of statistics too is revolves around the uh, Department of Public Health, you know, for your state. Um, That's right. For our APC chapter, we actually had a our our state epidemiologists come in. Epidemiologists are those that study, you know, public health and you know diseases and things of that nature. Um, and somebody had uh, asked about tumor registry, which is very similar to coding, but the codes are different. Um, Correct. You could go out and they're very statistical too, as you know, as well. You're you're still coding, but it's based on the statistics of cancer, and so you might look in you might look into that. Now, and for a fun fact regarding the because within with North uh, North Dakota, they use vital records and for their mm -hmm. statistical purposes rather than other things that most states use, and they mm -hmm. found that for 2016. You know, they were talking about, you know, the youngest person that became pregnant or the oldest person that became pregnant. And then they had one for the one that gave birth to the heaviest baby. Uh, I was shocked to find out that it was 15 pounds and something ounces. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm shocked, too. I think, I think the whole room cringed. Yeah. <laughs> I had a 10 and a half, and that was huge. So. Oh um, yeah. Autumn just uh, mentioned trauma registry there you go mm -hmm. uh, so uh, you might even just google medical registry and see what comes up but those are you know it because if statistics is your thing then absolutely that would be fun not my thing i'm into blood and guts but um but yeah there's a lot of a lot of things to look at too check with your local chapters like they just said need more medical certification and business training? Learn more at www.cco.us.